In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to our celebration of the Mass on this Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring us the peace and mercy of God. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook, all the doors flew open, and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in and, trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, 
I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading today of Paul and being in prison along with Silas is an example in the scriptures when God takes a situation and brings good out of it, even in the midst of uh, suffering and fear for the people that are in the situation. Here we have Paul and Silas in prison. They are been they have been beaten with rods and they don't know when they're going to get out of jail but in the midst of that they are they are praying they are giving songs and and the people are listening to them that are in the prison and suddenly they are set free there's this earthquake and they um the jailer thinks that all the prisoners have gotten out and escaped But this is an opportunity for Paul and Silas to assure this man, this guard, that they have not escaped. They are still there. And this so moves the heart of the jailer that he wants to be a Christian. He says, what must I do to be saved? And this results in his baptism and the baptism of all those in his household. It's a situation where God has brought good out of something that didn't look very promising at the time. And maybe in our lives, that same thing happens. As we can look back at our life, maybe we can see times when we've been in a a time of suffering, a, a time that was really difficult, and we didn't know what good could come out of it. But by looking back at it now, we see how God brought good out of it. There was a lesson to be learned, or there was some fruit that we couldn't see at the time for ourselves or for someone else. I think the days that we are in right now with the coronavirus are similar to those times. We we don't know what good is going to come out of this. We can't yet see the end of the of the road and and how life is going to improve. But we need to trust and have faith that God is going to bring good out of this for ourselves and for other people. Let us pray that we can be faithful in days that are easy and days that are difficult knowing that God can bring good out of anything. We pray for our church throughout the world. May we grow in faith, especially in times when it's difficult. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders of our church, especially the Holy Father, Pope Francis, that God may inspire him through the Holy Spirit in his work and his ministry. We pray to the Lord. For leaders of governments and cities and states, that they will make wise decisions for the good of their people, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are graduating this time of year from school, that God may bless them in the next step of their life, we pray to the Lord. For those that are finding it difficult to support their families, those that are unemployed and don't have access to food and other basic necessities, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, may they be healed and be at peace, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, including Bob Connor, for whom we offer this Mass intention, we pray to the Lord. Lord our God, we ask you to hear our prayers In your goodness and love, we ask you to grant them through Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. For those of you not able to receive Holy Communion in a physical way, I will now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.